Hello, welcome to complete web design development course. Um, my name is Musa. I'll be your instructor. Um, this is Semtech Innovation Training Institute, bring you bringing innovative education to you. Here today, we will look at introduction to introduction to web design and development of a website. Uh, for today, we're going to look at um, the following. What are the what are our aims to, for today's lectures? To give students an understanding of a website design and development. How to build a website using hypertext markup language with HTML and also cascading style sheet with the CSS. And the factor that influence design of a website, how to specify the design of a website. Strategy for testing a website. Overview. The internet and the World Wide Web www. How the web works. How WW works, the importance of a web standard, challenges of a web design. I talk about the browser, the screen resolution, and accessibility. The internet and WWW. Now, this is a question. What is the internet? Can you try? You? Okay. Right definition of an internet, yes. The right definition of www. Describe the difference between the two. Okay. The internet. The worldwide network of computers, networks share information. Information share over the internet, not existive like on um, the email, FTP, instant message, www, chat, VOIP, example Skype, P2P, that is peer-to-peer -peer network. These are all um, for the internet. Um, we look at again the World Wide Web, which is www. The World Wide, with the World Wide Web the the worldwide collection of millions of interlinks document that is a web page over on the internet the two main technology define the www which are which is the hypertext markup language that is html the language used to write the web pages the HTTP hypertext transfer protocol, the document rules that specify how web pages are transmitted over the internet. How the WD works? One. Now, if you look at this picture, you can see the, um, the client, the internet, and the web server. On the internet, there are two types of machine, the client and the server, okay? The server provides service to users of the internet, while the client uses service on the internet. As you can see, the server provides the service while the client uses, okay? When we solve the web, we are client. That means when you're using whatever device, you use mobile phone, tablet, computer, whatever you're using, desktop, laptop, you are like a client using any browser. Now, the browser send out the request for the web page that you can see. HTTP um, over the internet and go to the server. The user select the address of the web page they want to view. For example, you can see the web browser the web address are known as a URL, Universal Resource Locator. The record is made using HTTP. 
the server receive the server receive request and send back the page that means the server will receive the request and send it back if the client is allowed the request page the server find the pages that means to send to do what to the HTML document I send a copy back over internet to the client. This is how what? This is how the internet normally works. The client send and the server receive and send it back. Again, the HTTP used for the communication between the client and the server. That HTTP, as you can see, it does to communicate the client to the server. Now, Let's talk about HTML. The hypertext markup language, as you can see, this is a very example of um, a document. As you can see, the doc type, the, um, we have the HTML, header, title, head, close, body. The, okay, this thing all, we're going to look at them in detail as we proceed just to see the a very simple um of html how is syntax how is structure this is an example of an html document html describes the structure of a web page that is which part of the page is underneath heading a paragraph a list and a table these are all they call them tags i again the css cascading style sheet as you can see, this is what this is the body is the what a selector. It has a font size, font family, background. These are all what on um, how the, um, the HTML and the CSS. That is an uh, HTML just a skeletal. Okay, the CSS might be able to design to make it beautiful to web structure. Okay, and CSS specify the design of a page. I the font the color position of different part of the page that means that is how the CSS came about or how it works and again you look at the uh, World Wide Web costume at a W3 school the, the dollar was, was invested in invented in 1989 by Tim Lee. He then founded the World Wide Web Costume in 1994. As of March 2011, there are 323 members. That means um, a lot of members include my organization like Apple, Google, Microsoft, they all use what? They use it. The web standard specified guidance for W3 school provide as known as the web standard. Example of web standard are specified the W3C as provide for HTML and CSS. That means the standard aim to provide web technology that supports the greatest numbers of what web users. Okay. When we created the website, it is important to follow the web standard. We can confident our website will be accessible to as many users as possible. So these are some of the challenges of a web design. As I know, when we design a website, it should be understandable by as many people as possible. This can be difficult. The challenges of a web design one is why look at the different web browsers, the different devices and screen resolution, accessibility and accessibility and accessibility. Usability, sorry. Now different browsers. Popular browsers, Internet Explorer, observation to IE. Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari, which is for Mac, iOS, Opera, Linux, text only, Cockroach, 
popular mobile web browser are like um talk about opera mini mobile safari sky Fire. these are all the, so the browser which you can use as you know um a, um a web page um or html whatever you can it's run through a browser so if you want to try you need this thing Some of our website provided uh, a list of what browser uses what start counter. Okay, you can try give it a try and see data. Now, let's look at different devices and screen resolution. User soft web using many different devices, not just desktop PC. Okay, as you know, many user now today they use what mobile phone. Many as many different web enabled devices such as you can name many name as many di different web enabled devices as you can. Okay, different devices and resolution. Different devices have different size display. A mobile device may have a screen resolution as smaller as one to eight and by one hundred and twenty. It pixel most desktop computer average screen resolution that is at least 124 to 3768. A screen resolution is an important factor in web design. As you can see, users shouldn't shouldn't have to scroll horizontally. The important information such as the main navigation bar option should instantly visible to the user. Um, these are all the things that is, um, um, when, you design, when you develop a website, you should take note of the sizes, very, very important. Because how we, do how we design a web, also we can design a web page, page that works across a range of different display resolution. Fixed web page design, design a page with for lowest popular, pop, popular resolution, that is, 124 to 368 on light display amount of empty space the fluid web page design the page with a size to fit the size of the browser now it's very common what you call most like um like when you say um the what you call responsive so number of number of user who access the web from mobile device is great that means a lot of people nowadays are using mobile phone to access the web. What makes soft web in mobile device? Mobile phone difficult? Hmm? How can we design a web page that works for mobile users? Create a separate site just for mobile users. Okay. Even mainstream sites should be designed to make them visible by mobile users. Now I talk about accessibility and disability. Visible people that are built blind or have limited visible can't see the web. The motor people that have limited or no use of hands struggle to use the conventional input device that require the fine motor control. Auditory people that are deaf or bad of hearing struggle to understand the audio and video content on the web. Cognitive many many struggle to use the website with complex language navigation or interaction process. Now accessibility assistive technology technology that assists disabled person usually impair blind user will often use a screen reader to solve the web. A screen reader read out the content of a page. Motor impaired user most uses are designed to give book, both ones or eyes tracking or voice recognition. These are all like the device assistive technology that we develop just to, uh, to make them fit. Okay. Design a website that are accessible is very important. The same of user make use of the significant proportion of web users. Accessible shared site access all the web users. Many countries have legal requirements to support disabled users. 
that thing they put a law or to that so that whenever you're given a website to have product standard okay usability design effective web this website involves much more than the site is looking and fit of a site accessibility usability is it all is about designing a website where user can accomplish tasks quickly as easily include like factory structure site structure navigation interface design how long the page takes to download that is sometimes it's very very important in designing a website you should always take note of it you could see that people able to download it's not like a like, lot for instance like youtube or you do like like other site that thing like that you can download music other thing so um at the end of this tutorial um make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe um also if you have any question you can ask and move to the next lesson